Welcome to Program Knowledge. In the previous video, we have already known how to read an analog signal from some basic devices. Today, I'm going to talk about how to read analog signal from some popular peripheral devices. Okay, let's go. In this video, I will make an example with three devices. First is photosensitive resistance sensor gas module and microphone um, we can use this microphone for cheap but i don't have it right here so i will use the microphone this is that this is the product from adafruit and is more stable but is expensive okay all of these devices also have digital pin digital pin digital pin digital pins but in this video I make about analog so I just only use analog pins in this video and all of them have analog pins A0, A out and AC okay that's the analog pin of each devices okay first I will review a little bit and uh, this is uh, six pins to read analog on Arduino you know and in this video I just use A0 pins to read analog signal okay first is photosensitive I have a diagram like this uh, we don't care about the potentiometer because it just affects to digital signal okay I have VCC is connected to the 5 voltage GND to GND and the analog pins of devices is connected to A0 of Arduino. Okay, let make Okay, let make the circuit. Okay, this is the photosensitive and also have four pins. Okay, now we'll connect. Five voltage is red wire to a VCC voltage okay next is uh, a0 a0 to analog and the last one is gnd okay gnd is green wire okay so now I will uh, write some code to control it when read analog signal from the photosensitive, okay? Right here I have a project. First e zero dot begin nine six zero zero to open the serial monitor with power in nine six zero zero. And in the loop I have a zero dot print it means uh, we'll print the value array from pin A0 to the serial monitor. Okay. Now we'll connect the Arduino to my laptop. Okay, first I will read the analog signal from the um, photosensitive first. Okay. Upload. Okay, this is the value I read from the analog signal. So, now if I turn off the LED, the value will be changed. Okay, let's see. And you see the value is increased more than 700. And now when I put the LED, uh, nearby the photosensitive the value will decrease okay by this condition by this condition I will make an example to turn on LED if the value is more than 700 okay okay right here I have I will use let 13 is default let to turn on 
and else digital right low but I have to set up the let 13 to output okay now if the analog signal from A0 is more than 700 the LED will be turned on and the and if not the LED will be turned off okay I will check the value okay as you see the LED will be up because the value is lower than 700 but now we'll turn off the LED Uh, you say it's blink because the value is sometimes lower than 700 and sometimes is more than 700. Okay, let's check with if 600. Here. okay let it turn on right and now i will put the led near the photosensitive let turn up right okay now let's check with the next diagram that's a gas module gas module i also have three pins VCC, GND, and A out, and we'll connect like the reverse device. Okay, and now let's check the circuit. Okay, here I have a gas module right here with four pins, but we don't care about the out. Okay, and we'll use lighter to detect gas. Okay, let's connect. VCC and we use red wire GND and we use green wire a blue wire sorry and the last one is signal I will use green wire okay now connect to Arduino red wire is VCC 5 voltage GND and the last one to A0. I also upload the OCO, but the gas will um, send the different values. So I will uh, read an analog signal first and then config the signal to turn on LED. Okay, now connect. Okay, here I will Okay, you see the value is increased more than 300 so I will use this value to control LED, okay? When the value is higher than 300, it will turn on LED. I, and when the value is lower than 300, it will turn off LED. Okay, but it's quite easy, so I think you can do it. Okay, next I have a new diagram. This is a diagram with microphone. I use this module to connect with Arduino. I also have three pins V in GD and AC. V in right here can connect to from three voltage to twelve, but I will connect it to five voltage. Okay. Now let's connect.
Okay, I have the microphone module right here. With five pins. Okay, now we'll connect red wire to five voltage. Green to A0. And blue to G and D. Okay, now I will connect to laptop and let's check. Zero monitor. Okay, the values is 160, so we'll put right here. It also changed, but it's a little bit, you cannot see the change. So now I will open the new serial this is serial plotter this is used for microphone and you see this is the voice sounds and this is noise okay now I will try to blow to the microphone you see when I blow to the microphone the plotter will be changed and what and when I tap to the microphone it will change okay it noise 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 okay so you can use this to read the frequency of your voice in uh, process your signal to control LED or something so I don't have more knowledge about um, sound so um, the tutorial for this uh, device also have on the Google so you can search it to um, to to make your circuit okay that's the only thing about this video so next time maybe I will use some LED and some motor to control via analog right that is a popular application and is very useful when you use analog right okay thank you